So today I went to the um, Jewish Museum and saw the exhibits and realized what an amazing um, history there is here. And um, I wasn't really completely aware of that. I knew that the gallery was in the ghetto. But um, I, I feel that it's really a wonderful place for, to be showing my work because, um, you know, I'm very concerned with, with the history of the Jewish people and the persecution of the Jewish people and through, throughout history. Going to Israel was a, made me feel that the um, oppressors, that the oppressed had become the oppressors. I made a point to, to spend time with um, Palestinians and to learn something about their culture as well as with Israelis and all the people in Israel that you're not aware of being there, such as um, people from Africa, and of all ethnicities, all countries, and um, Ethiopians, and uh, Ghanaians, and Nigerians, and also all kinds of, Is all kinds of Israelis. I'm, I'm wandering now. I always deal with people's vulnerabilities and I try to get close to people when I photograph them. So in Israel, as in other places, my preferred place to, to photograph them was in their homes. So whenever I could do that, I did it. And I don't talk a lot when I'm photographing, but I think about people and um, who I feel that they are. Every, all different components go, go into the picture that I take in the end. So it's important for me to be in, a, in an intimate place if that's possible. I would advise young photographers to be their authentic selves as much as they can and to um, pre-thinking what kind of a picture they are going to come up with, but to really um, draw from their inner feelings 